Hey, what's up, guys? So, yeah, Agent Carter, the, th well, okay, fourth episode, third episode review. Hold on, I'm just going to look up the episode title here. The Blitzkrieg Button. Ha, <laughs> weird title. So, yes, this episode, fantastic. I love this episode. It was really good. I just wanted to really say that out loud and just let you guys know I love this episode. It was great. So, yes, I'm going to start off with my top five moments like usual, even though at the end, when I get to my number one, I'm going to have some honorable moments. Because I actually, for this one, I actually did have some honorable moments. And this is like the first episode that I've ever actually had to do that before. And so, yes, so, here we go. Alright, so, for my number five, it is that Peggy sneaks Howard into the Griffith. Now, the reason why this is my top, is my number five is because it was really funny. You know, even though I didn't laugh during the whole thing, I thought it was, you know, I saw what they were going for. They were going for that comedic thing. Even though, I thought it was kind of funny, I just didn't laugh, you know. And it was kind of funny that he was sleeping with every a different girl every time, you know, she came looking for him. And that was pretty good. And I really did like Howard coming back in the show. I think Dominic Cooper does the role very well. And so, yeah, it was really cool seeing Peggy just trying to sneak in a guy above the first floor. And so, yeah. So, yes, my number four out of my top five moments is... Suzer gets in on the investigation, or Suzer, however you want to call it, the handicapped guy, gets in on the investigation and gives a speech that no one is important from the war unless you have, like, an injury. Or, that's kind of how I picked it up. You know, because they feel sorry for you and stuff. And that, actually, that speech that he kind of gave that guy from the street, you know, I can see kind of how people are going to do that. Because I, I could see that, actually. You know, I could see how... You know, he. I could see where he's coming from. And I think that is a very, it was very powerful. And I really did like that. And it was just, it hit me here, right here. And it was really good, I think. And I did like him try, him getting in on the investigation now that their boss went to Germany. And I did like that sort of thing where he's just like, look, I'm going to do this thing here even though I'm not supposed to. And I got this guy who said, you know, and even though it didn't really prove much, I still got this guy. And they can give us an insight on what and who is going on and everything. You know, kind of, sort of like that. But that speech, though, that was just great. I lo whoever came up with that, congratulations, guys. I love you for getting that. That was great. So, yes. My number three is, is that Peggy has to steal one of Stark's inventions to keep a citywide blackout from happening. Now, this was, I'd say, is the main part of the episode for Peggy Carter is what she has to do. Now... I felt like that was really cool, interesting, how to do it like that. And so, then, you know, find out later, which will come later on in the, later on in the my top five moments, that, um, that it isn't really it. That's not really what it is. But that whole idea of, like, he, she has to go get that from the, from the SSR, is like, because she got this pin, this pen camera, you know, and I did like that sort of idea where she used that to get pictures, and that's where Stark kind of got to figure out what inventions they had and everything, and what, you know, and he needed to get that back. I really did like that, and that was pretty much it, part of that, because, and I did like that idea where you see that, where she gets it, and she's just like, she has that thing going on in her head, and she sees that Jarvis, you know, is kind of flipping with his ear and stuff. You know something's up. And so, that was... I didn't know what was going to be in there, and when my number one... That is why it is my number one, for sure. And so, but, yeah, I'll talk about that later. But I really did like that. That was really cool, and I thought that was going to be a big part of the last half hour of the episode. So, yes... My number two out of my top five moments is the Stanley cameo. Come on, the Stanley cameo. Now, the only reason why I didn't put this up as my number one is because the number one, I felt like, the, my number one is greater than this, even though it is a Stanley cameo. I'm sorry, Stanley. You were awesome. That is why you were my number two. You were great at that cameo. That was really funny and really good, actually. And enough said. 
see what I did there. All right, so yes, my number one. Top, okay, well, first, honorable mentions. So the honorable mentions for number one were the typewriter ending, you know, where the boss is just sitting there and the typewriter starts clicking off. And I was just like, I had tingles down the spine of my neck. I was like, what's the guy saying? And it didn't even show it. I was like, oh, come on now. And so then is is that Peggy's, one of Peggy's neighbors is a murderer, I presume. You know, she's some she's some sort of a fighter or something. Please let me know what you guys' thoughts about what she is involved in. Maybe she's involved in this whole conspiracy with bringing Stark down. I don't know. Please let me know what your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. We'd really like to hear them. And so, yes, my number one top five moment is... Drum roll, please. I can't really do a drum roll because my hand's kind of occupied this end over here. Is, is that Steve Rogers' blood made an appearance in the episode. And that that is what Howard needed... And then the whole kind of argument between Peggy and Howard. Now, the reason why this is my top moment is because Steve Rogers' blood, anything with Captain America, especially in the Agent Carter show, is going to be number one. I love that. I love Captain America. He's my favorite Avenger. And having Steve Rogers' blood kind of being the main, you know, Leviathan of the episode was really cool. Even though Peggy didn't know that's what it was. Even though she kind of had an idea. I'm pretty sure she had an idea when she saw it, you know, there and so then the whole fight between Howard and Peggy now this fight I this fight was so great I loved it it really sets apart you know it really says something about how Peggy is kind of thinking about Howard and everything and I just loved it it was so great it had such good dialogue that the whole scene was fantastic that is why that is my top five moment that is why it's my number one moment in my top five moments so, yes, guys, please let me know about your top five moments if you guys have any from the episode. Please just let me know your thoughts about the episode in the comment section below. Hit that like button. Really use the likes, guys. And if you have not already, please subscribe. So, yes, tomorrow I will be doing my Fantastic Four teaser trailer review. I know I haven't really done a lot of teaser trailer reviews, but I feel like Fantastic Four I really need to talk about because that was pretty cool. And we have not seen a whole lot about Fantastic Four. So, yes, guys. Hopefully you guys can wait till tomorrow. It'll give me something to do tomorrow anyways. And if you guys caught it in the episode, there was a, like a little preview for the rest of Age of the Shield. Holy crap. That is going to be freaking epic. I cannot wait for that. So, yes, guys. Jay Wink here. Winking on out. I'll see you guys later.